Hi everybody, it's Mirav, and today I'm going to teach you how to add a pop-up invitation to your survey. The first thing you need to do is you need to publish the pop-up module. So let's go and publish it. Extensions, module manager. Let's do a quick search here. Here it is. It's very important to publish it, but you also want to hide the title because it's a kind of an invisible module. Nobody really needs to see it, but it has to be there in order for the pop-up to work. And the position we're going to choose, let's try to choose a position that usually is not being used so it won't take space or anything like that. Let's just choose the debug position here. It's at the bottom of the page. And I'm going to click Save and you want to have it on all the pages. Okay, so the next step would be to set up the pop-up to show on the survey. So we're going to open the survey. By the way, if you don't want to show it on all the pages, the pop-up, then choose different settings on the module. But it won't make sense to to show the pop-up invitation only on the survey page because they're already there. So you want to show it on, on other pages as well. So let's click on the pop-up tab and we're going to choose yes here. And here we can choose, we want to show it once a week or once a day is a little much I think. Once a week it also can be a little much. Uh, once a month, once every three months or once a year. Let's go with once a week. This is the pop-up width, 300 by 200 by default. You can change it to anything you want. We're going to give it a title. We're going to call it uh, Welcome. I hope you come, can come up with something better than this, but that, that will do for now. Please help us improve our site. Take a survey. You could win something. And of course you can add an image if you want. It's just an HTML editor, you can do whatever you want here. You can create an HTML content in your HTML editor like Dreamweaver or whatever and, uh, and just copy and paste the HTML here. So now that we have the pop-up set, let's click on save and see what happens on the front end. I'm just going to go and refresh the page. We chose it to show it on every page, so it should show right now. Here it is, here's our pop-up. Please help us improve our site. Do you want to take the survey? Now here is something I need. To, I should add at the end. Would you like to take our survey? And then you say yes. The, the, the person will say yes, no, or later. So if they say yes, it's going to take them to the survey that we designed. And if no, it's not going to take them. If And it's not going to show the pop-up again. And if, if they choose later, it's going to show the pop-up again in the future. Now let's see if we can customize the, the way the, the pop-up looks. We're going to go to our cascading style sheet uh, settings. Right in right here. It says here pop-up title is, uh, is using the pop-up title class. We can change it to anything. We can, for example, use a, a class that already exists on our table, on our template. We can call it uh, content heading. And the, the pop-up content we can call it uh, component heading. And the button. We can just call it um, 
button. That's another class that is a part of our template. And then it will look more like our template design. Or, alternatively, you can keep the, the style that were already here and just change the cascading style sheet over here. Right now, you can see it's completely empty, but you can enter whatever you want here. You've got to know a little bit cascading style sheets to do that. If you don't, then don't touch it at all. And you can just use those kind of uh, styles that already exist on your template. Now this is a little bit more advanced stuff, or you can just leave it just the way it is. It, it was just fine the way it was. And the important thing is to save everything you do. And this is it for how to add a pop-up to your survey. Thanks for watching.